Keeley, Arthur for us live outside the Wake County Justice Center. Thanks. Well, in less than 30 minutes, President Joe Biden is expected to take the stage at the state fairgrounds here in Raleigh. This is a look inside the Jim Graham building where the rally will take place. And that's where we find WRL's Monica Casey with reaction to what some would call a shaky performance in Atlanta, Monica. Yeah, Michelle, the Biden campaign says there will be 2,000 people attending this event in this room, and it's going to be a tight fit. One of the main topics on everyone's mind here is last night's debate performance by the president. We have spoken with supporters here, some who say they have concerns about Biden's performance. Others have said it's not a big issue for them. That includes college student who came here from Winston-Salem named Adrian Payne. He says it was important for him to be here because of North Carolina's status as a battleground state. He had a rocky start, but let's be honest here, though. If it comes down to the guy who stuttered versus the guy who sat there and lies the entire debate, I'll take the guy who stutters any day over the guy who lies the entire debate. Now this morning, the Biden campaign co-chair said the president may have lost the debate on, quote, style, but he won it on facts. When it comes to facts, a PolitiFact fact check of the debate found both candidates made statements that were false. Now here at the Jim Graham building, we are less than 30 minutes from the start of this rally. We're expecting to see North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, as well as Democratic nominee for governor, the candidate for governor, Josh Stein, here with the president. So a lot of big faces is expected to be here in this building in just a little while. In Raleigh, Monica Casey, WRL News. And here in the WRA Live Center, the president's visit once the rally is finished will impact your afternoon uh, joint on the roadway. Check out what we're talking about. Uh, the state fairgrounds are right here and likely uh, because of the motorcade and the motorcade route, it will affect the road closures and delays possibly around Wade Avenue and of course I-40 westbound going out to the airport. So keep that in mind. We'll of course keep you posted on air and online after that rally. As for President Biden's Republican challenger, Donald Trump is campaigning today in Virginia, where he's expected to attend a rally with that state's government. Now, this morning, Trump supporters on the Hill reacted to the debate, saying President Biden is just not up for the job. It's nothing we take pleasure in pointing out because it's so dangerous, because we're concerned about our stature and standing on the world stage. Our adversaries see exactly the same thing that all of us see. Trump and Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin are expected to take the stage in Chesapeake, Virginia at 3 o'clock this afternoon. A flash poll conducted by CNN found 67 percent of voters thought Trump won the debate. 33 percent thought Biden won. Prior to the debate, 55 percent of those same voters thought Trump would turn in a better performance. Be sure to stay with WRL throughout the day for coverage of President Biden's visit to Raleigh. And we have a full breakdown of everything that happened in last night's debate on WRL.com. That includes a fact check of each of the candidates' statements from our partners at PolitiFact.